I mean, listen, when Carlos Carrasco starts spitting gems, you know you're living life pretty well right now. So the Mets are, are, are absolutely rocking. We'll get to them. I, I thought last night's Yankee game, Teak, was one of the most uh, disgraceful, embarrassing performances I've seen in a long time from this team. Hmm. And you talking you about Sevy? I'm talking about everybody. I'm talking about the indifference defensively. I'm talking about Severino, who looks absolutely cooked. You know, it's amazing, too, and I know that this infiltrated, like, the Mets part of the conversation with Otani, and I was out, and you did the show, and then you were out, and I did the show, so we haven't had a chance to really cross bridges in a while. But with Trout going down and and, and uh, Rendon going down, obviously the thought of, of trading Otani, the, the timeline speeds up a bit. You know what's said? The reality is, for the Yankees to do anything, well, they need two things. Number one, you have to pray the judge comes back. Flip mm-hmm. a coin, who knows if he does. And number two, they're going to have to make a big trade. But the crazy thing about this is every other team that will be at the Otani table getting ready to play for some high-stakes poker, the Yankees, in terms of prospects and, and appealing commodities to the Angels, like even if they wanted to play a few hands, they don't even have the requisite funds to sit at the Otani table. What do you mean? You mean Who the you hell mean the would money? you want from the Yankees if you're the oh, Angels? You mean, you mean from a prospect standpoint. Yeah. But, I mean, there's a there actually are a lot of guys. Who do you want? It, so, <laughs> yeah, I don't uh, think they Cabre- got him. Cabrera is interesting, right? Nah, he's the 23rd man on the Pra-, roster. He's Peraza, never good. he's banged up. So, I mean, maybe he's less interesting now than he was maybe a year ago um, because of the unknown, so to speak. I don't want to – Volpe's never going to be on that list, but Volpe's a decent prospect for the for the Yankees. Well, Volpe's where I cut it off. Yeah. That's and, really where I cut it uh, off. Yeah. But after that, I'm trying to look at – remember their farm system. There's some guys down there that are, that are not horrible. Wells, yeah, all right, and if great. You're, and if you're the Angels right Jason now – Jason Dominguez, great. But yep. if you're the Angels and Shohei Otani is truly your only – healthy asset at this point because Mike Trout is hurt again. Uh, he, he had surgery. I knew he had a uh, you know an issue. He, he, he he's out four to four to eight weeks. Yeah. Ugh. But he actually he had the surgery. Yeah, so, the handmate. Yeah. I mean there's just nothing No, it's, it's he's out for a while. He's out. He's not play, he's probably not playing for the rest of the season. And mm-hmm. so he's out, Rendon's out and um you a team that was floating above five hundred and maybe had enough to be buyers at the deadline are clearly on the sell side. Now. I would think so. Yeah. And, yeah. So, and so with Trout getting older, you know Otani's not going to be here next year or be there next year, given their circumstances and what he's gonna, you know, desire. Obviously the money, but more importantly, a place where he can win a championship. The Angels should be desperate to rebuild with young players. Mm-hmm. And and look, the Yankees have some of those players. Um they're prospects in a lot of ways. Volpe, I wouldn't offer away because of how good he's been over the last couple of weeks. He's starting to get it, right? So the last thing you're going to do is offer Anthony Volpe to anyone, even if it's for a superstar yeah, like Shohei Otani. Gets hot. Right? Let's put him in a leadoff spot. Good I job, know. Booney. 0 yeah. for 4. <laughs> exactly. uh, can't you just let him flourish where he was for another week? <laughs> you got to jam him right in a one hole already. Right. Come on. I understand there's very limited options here, Tiki. You're going between Rizzo as the leadoff hitter, Glaber Torres, DJ tried him many times. I mean, they have no leadoff hitter. I got you, I, but I, I, come on. I think the Yankees have some assets for the for the Ugh. for the Angels. Oh, they I, I, definitely do. Okay, even, now great. Now great. Yeah. Only two of them are top 100, <laughs> right? So, so that's not going to do it. But you give a plethora of them. I mean, how many shortstops do the Yankees have in their in their farm system? I feel like there's <sighs> ten of them. Yeah, I mean, the greater issue is that here we are again. It's uh, it's it's almost the middle of July. The Yankees have, and you know where I'm going. I haven't gone here in a while. I'm not going to go, you know, <laughs> raving mad and raging mad. Who do I point my finger at right now? Mm, Who is it? It's Cashman. It's Brian Cashman. It's absolutely Brian Cashman because you look at this team right now, and every single night the box score spits back at you. This guy's hitting 170. This guy's hitting 209. This guy's hitting 212. You have no catchers. You have no left fielder. Um, you know, third baseman's a revolving door. Second base, uh, well, whatever. Who's committing to Torres long term? First base suddenly looks like he's washed. DJ is washed. Severino shot. Mm. I mean, he, I just don't understand, and I'm so tired of talking about this all the time. I don't understand how Brian Cashman has all that money. Brian and, Cashman oh, geez, come has on. not earned <laughs> the right. All, all of those resources to, to, to do something better than he's done, and once again, and he fails. Mm. And once again, we're here in July. 
and the Yankees are boring, and they're bleeding, they're actually hemorrhaging, they're leaking oil, they're desperate. So what are we doing with uh, yeah, the Yankees? Well, We're going to ride this out and do I, nothing, dude, or are we making a big trade? Because you if you not, don't, you're not going to win. Are you not overreacting to Luis Severino having one of the worst outings that he's ever seen? Because the velocity's there. You're not saying he's hurt. Oh, his shoulder must be hurt. Oh, his back. The velocity's there. It's just no action on anything. You know what I think is hurt? I think his brain is hurt. <laughs> no, it, it is. <laughs> I think his, his ego is bruised, and he's become a mental well, well, when you're when you're That's what I really when you're think. a starting major league baseball pitcher who at one point was supposed to be a star, and your answer when asked, you know, why you got drilled yeah. the way that he got drilled, he and, got what was rocked. It, two and a third, two and whatever it was. I mean, there's a 97 mile an hour fastball, and the Henderson shortstop takes it opposite field, and it's gone in a. I, it was a no. It was a no doubter opposite fielder, which is hard to do. Yes, especially right? at Yankee Stadium. Exactly. Yeah. No, I hear you. So for lefty, yeah. when, when Severino gets asked about what's wrong, and he says, I have no confidence in any of my pitches. Oh, well, there you go. Good yes, talk, buddy. Then why the uh-huh. hell are you pitching? Let's keep it moving. <laughs> it's, like going, it's like going into a psychologist's office. Right? Not to make a light of that. It's probably no, not the best comparison. But So what can I help you with? Everything. 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 What, what, so what's my, good in your life? So Nothing. My, my question is, I mean, are, are you, you not, start somewhere are you not overreacting to a horrendous Luis Severino start? Because let's not forget. They did win the Texas series. They, yes. they were bad against Boston, so they win the Seattle series. They were they, bad against Boston twice. Twi- twice in a row. Okay, no, whatever. Saying, like, you know. they, that was late June. Yeah, all right. They, they exercised it. They won the Seattle series. They did. They won the Texas series. Correct. They won the Oakland series, as they better have. They should have swept and uh, lost yep, the first they, game. They, yep. they lost the St. Louis series. Uh, St. Louis, Louis stinks. That bothered do. me. That bothered it, me, it, that series. It did. The way that it worked out, especially the Cole start, the last one. Yep. And then they split. This Baltimore four game series. And to me, and the it's reason like, I think you're overreacting. Okay, so you really do think I'm overreacting? I do. All right, go I ahead, do. Tell the me why. The reason I think you're overreacting because a week ago we were having a similar conversation, and I was actually lauding the Yankees for staying afloat. Oh, like, you were. I was. Uh, hold on, for staying afloat <laughs> above water despite all of this crap uh, that's going on yes. with their team, right? And yeah. the, the, the pitching has it. Nestor's out, and Rodon hasn't come back yet. Sevy's trying to find himself. Clark Smith, who's been good for five innings, and he gets rocked to an OPS of, I don't know what it is, five-something in the in the fifth inning, and then in the sixth, forget it. So he can't go deep in games. But the bullpen's been pretty good, right? And so you don't necessarily worry about that. So I was giving the Yankees credit for staying afloat. And because they're, they're behind Baltimore – a team is overachieving, and maybe they're just good at this point, but they're behind Baltimore. You start this series, you win the first two. In your mind, you're saying, oh, dude, we're catching Baltimore before the weekend. right? We're going to jump Baltimore before the weekend and go into the All-Star break and watch out Rays, who had lost three or four in a row or so. We're coming to get you. And then all of a sudden, Luis Severino gives you a dud that just crushes all momentum. So is this not an overreaction to one of the worst starts by any Yankee pitcher this season from what we saw last night. No. <laughs> I don't think that it is. Now, what, Luis Severino's ERA, is it, is it, you know, did it tilt up to 4.9? No, it's it, 7-4. Exactly. So while last night was historically atrocious for him, uh, when your ERA is trending toward 8, there's been a lot of other abominations yeah, you've thrown out. He's been absolutely, he's, he stinks. I don't, mean, trust you, him. You mean, I don't trust him at all. You mean that's not just one bad start? That, exactly. <laughs> it's not like it's April 19th that he's had two starts and one was decent and the other was horrendous and it's just, all right, it's so early. You know, you got guys batting six. 12 in the first month of the first week of the season. Luis Severino is not trustworthy. Luis Severino can be nowhere near a mound in a meaningful position. So, no, I listen, honestly, Teak, I don't think it's overreacting. And by the way, yes, and they were playing better, and they were showing fight, and IKF, despite some follies in the outfield, has really been stroking it better, and he's, he's, he plays hard. I he's hard. not an outfielder, so, I mean, what do you want to do? No, about? I hear it. That's why I'm not really crushing yeah. him. I get that. Uh, but but they swinging, do need a left fielder. Oh, God. He's swinging the bat better, and he's playing with energy. And Volpe's obviously been on a great tear last night aside. But, you know, when, when I think when it's positioned, and this is where I think you and I are seeing these last four games very differently. Yeah, a split. Now, if you tell me going into it, yeah, I'd like to make up ground, but the Yanks and the Orioles will split. I'd say, okay, I'll, mm-hmm. I'll, I'll take that. But when you win the first two, and then the aesthetics of the next two – uh, leads to the split, I almost process that like we lost three out of four from a Yankees point of view. I Listen, I mean, let me ask you a question. Again, it's almost the middle of July. What is the best part of the Yankees team? What's the best part? The bullpen. Okay, I agree. But, if you, get not, there, but if you get there and it's 
12 to 1. Yeah, well, you know, <laughs> you know Brady's got to take that, it on the chin. I feel yeah. he's mop up. I get that. You're right. Tiki's right. The best part of the Yankees team is the bullpen. Uh, I, I ask you to find any other championship caliber team where that's the first thing you automatically identify historically mm. without even having really to think about what's number two. Like, it's <laughs> far and away yeah. the Yankees' best asset. And when your bullpen, and again, it's imperative that you have one, but all the good teams do, mm-hmm. they also happen to have other stuff. Yeah. You know, so when you tell me the bullpen's the best thing about the Yankees, you know what I say? That's not good. That's not good. That, that tells me that team's going nowhere. Now, do you nowhere? Think, now, do you think maybe not? I mean, do you think Where are they, they going? stay afloat? Do they? Do you think they stay afloat? Because they've done an unbelievable job of staying afloat, despite Bader missing time, yep. Stanton missing time, Volpe going through a prolonged, you know, slump. Uh, Judge obviously he's out. Rodon hasn't even pitched. Nestor Cortez. There's a lot of stuff, and I could probably keep going. There's a lot, you know, Nestor Cortez with the shoulder fatigue. I don't think it was a real injury, but shoulder fatigue, and he's on the 15 day IL. With all of that said, yep, there's still eight games over 500. I respect you that. Know? No, you, no, you no, have to I, I, I do, that. I do, but I guess I don't know. I guess I'm just a little quicker to delineate. You know what I respect and what really excites me. You can respect something without being you know, overly enamored with what you're watching. And I, I listen, perspective, you're not wrong with that. They have shown, they've shown stones. They yeah. really have. But that'll get you so far. Won't it get you so far? I mean, they're just... Uh, just Nobody oh, else in the... Amer- my, the reason I'm, I, I think I... Ugh. Take the 30,000-foot view of this is because nobody else in the American League, other than the Rays, who have actually had a little bit of a step back. I, I can't remember if they lost. I don't know if they lost yesterday. Uh, maybe they did. But they, they've they been on a little bit of a slump. Like, they're just trying to get to the All-Star break. Let's let's re, you know, reconfigure ourselves at the All-Star break. Yeah, they've lost five in a row. Five in a row, Tampa is. So even Tampa's not running away from you at this point, right? And so you look at the rest of the American League, Who's dominant, right? Who is beyond reproach, the automatic American League representative in the world? There isn't, that team is not there right now. And the Yankees are jacked up and they're staying afloat. To me, that means they still have a chance. Now, there's a lot of things that got to go right, right? A lot of things. Judges got to get healthy. The pitching's got to get right. Um, bullpen's got to stay like it has been. Uh, Rizzo can hit a home run. Rizzo's Rizzo's got to hit a home run. May 20th, dude. And make a a decision on third base. Make a decision on Josh Donaldson. And if he doesn't get it right, you know, before the trade deadline, sorry, dude, you got to be DFA. Yep. Right? Same thing with maybe DJ, too. But they're not going to do it, but, man, he looks like a softball player at this point. I said that yesterday. They have to do something with third base, left field, and hope that other things start to fall back in place because they're still in it. Okay, so you're with me on the need to make them. Without a doubt. And not just a little teeny tiny cosmetic fourth outfielder trade. Oh, without BT. They, they are, need they are, to make a are, significant uh, trade. What was the number? Negative four? Whoa, whoa, outs above replace? Outs above, I forget what it is. Above it, for defensive prowess? Defensive prowess, left field. It's, oh, it's, a, it's a joke. It's one of the worst in baseball. Yeah. No, it's, it's, it's really bad. It's bad. But who constructed it? Yeah. Who built it? You did? Who? Cashman did. <laughs> Cashman. Right, Cashman did. Now he's got to fix it. He's got to fix it. Uh, what is He's got to fix it again. 877-337-6666. It's Tiki and Tierney. Hey, we're inside of our Town Fair Tire Studio. Our friends at Town Fair remind you that you always get the guarantee lowest price on name brand tires from Connecticut to Maine. Nobody beats Town Fair Tire. Nobody. Then I got to then I gotta get texts and tweets, and I got to drive it. I got to hear about Mary Buckmas as the Mets start to get hot. I mean, you want to talk about the alternate universe here. I mean, the Mets are the Yankees right now. Hoff, how much credit are you getting? How much credit are you getting? Love it. Uh, I'm getting a lot of late night night, uh, texts from people. You should. Because I listened to the Rico, and I heard you. Because Friday they got beat. Yes. It was like, ugh. But then you had you went to a Saturday. I went to Saturday's game, and that, I didn't realize that was the how the juju works. Yes. I had to show up to the game. I would have gone Friday if that was the case. So I'm mm. sorry about that. Yes, made a mistake one day, hiccup, but we're good now. Very disappointed because when I knew uh, you were you out Friday. Wait, hold on. No, you. Oh, we no, did. We, the, we, we shaved the shirt right, right head on Friday. I got it. Holiday <laughs> weekend. So yeah, yeah. yeah, I got you. Um, I knew he was going Saturday, and he brought his little guy in, who's a Yankee fan, but he's in the midst of converting, and it might be going favorably uh, <laughs> based on the fact that, you know, he went to the Mets game, and he was wearing a Mets jersey, and the Mets are winning, and the Yankees aren't, blah, blah, blah. So I cc'd 
Stevie Cohen with the video. Ah. And I said, uh, a little subtweetage. And I said, you know, listen, you got to recognize this guy's saving the season. He's actually going to the game. <laughs> okay. This was Friday. Yeah. Invite the man to your suite. He's going to be the impetus behind turning around your season. Crickets, nothing. Nothing. So nothing. Steve Cohen, who I once thought was a true man of the people, needs to get his act together <laughs> and recognize the greatness and the persuasive skills of Hoff. You know why he didn't respond? Why? Because he's on threads now. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah, something else I need to get distracted from my family. I'm going to pass on threads. Threads my ass. Threads. Uh, right, Stevie Cohen on threads. I you're, not on that st- you're not on I that am. stupid. You're on I'm, threads? I'm, I haven't done anything on it. You ha- why did you do that? You, I just you trans- zombie, you. I just you. transitioned over. Why? I'm on there, too. Well, Wait, the way, well you, I, you are a social I media sucker. You're I'm a zombie. Not, Everybody no, knows that. Stop it. You know I don't have Twitter anymore. Oh, I do. I just don't use it. Except yeah. when I go on and I retweet or like something that you post. Yeah. Right? I just don't use Twitter anymore. So it's like threads comes around. Like, Let me check this thing out. Is it it, it a, just auto populates my Instagram. Following. I know it does. So, I mean, I have no idea. I haven't really looked at it. Oh, my God. But, threads. I mean, it's the next great thing, VT. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> threads. Was it threads.net? That's what it is, right? Yeah, I think I know so. they have the app, but it just, I, mean, I just can't waste my time. I'm not saying I'll never get on it, but hmm. I will fight and I, I bet will you're resist. Gonna be on it. You'll be on it. I might. You be, you'll be on it. But I will resist. Then you'll be on Reddit. Then you'll go get, no, no, <laughs> no, get your no, MySpace no. back. No, yeah, MySpace. MySpace was fun. What I do you like do MySpace. with Reddit, by the way? I, I've never done it before. <laughs> it's, it's, it's basically the precursor to threads. It's just, it's like a bunch of feeds. It just talks about random nonsense. It just, <laughs> so if you do threads, it's fine. You don't have to do Reddit? No. Um, or you should do Reddit, too. I feel like that's the problem is there's too many social media. I'm worried about getting confused well, Reddit, by Reddit's everything. old. You know, Alex O'Hara. Reddit's very old. Who is like my dad knows about Reddit. Reddit. No, I know it's not that old. Honestly, the reason I know about it is because he went to UVA. Who's married to Serena? Alex Ah. O'Hara. He's married to Serena, and he went to UVA. So that that's the only reason I got it. But it's so confusing. I don't know how to use it. I haven't even tried. So I have an account. I just don't know how to use it. And so Threads is kind of similar. Yeah. Because it's not really dig. It's not like digital photos. Like. Instagram is yeah, but and but it's also not like Twitter. Well, the photos <laughs> are the best part on Instagram. But Let's apparently they went and stole <laughs> the all part. of the fired Twitter employees. Oh, and that's how they built it so fast. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so, that's yeah. why it looks kind of half. Well, that's why Musk. Exactly. Is, I've heard that's that's why, flaws that's, to well, it. Well, that's why Musk is trying to like take legal action against them. It's, it's, it's just hilarious. Good God, listen to what we're talking about. Threads. <laughs> Although you are lucky that you're off Twitter because if even though you still have it, yeah. Because if you were active on it, you'd see every night half patting himself on the back. <laughs> I mean, you, you can't be less humble than you've been. I'm just every reminding night everybody. taking a bow. I mean, BT. They I, I hope the Mets lose two out of three I this weekend. Said, I got to be honest just, with you. They have won five. I hope row. that they lose to the Padres this weekend. Longest I hope you winning lose the series. Is, longest winning streak of the season. Got to go back to May 21st. <laughs> I'm just reminding everyone. Let's where go, it Soto. <laughs> They suck too, though. I know. Actually, no. They've been. They won four to five. Well, so we do. I'm have to hoping be the Padres handle businesses. I, it's. It's. I can't take it. They're anymore. gonna handle nothing, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna play. You know what I'm gonna do? You Darvish to, is gonna be terrible. I'm gonna have to play the song do today. It. Do it. Now, the, I the, might. Do it. Oh, so he's trying to t- counteract again. Remember, hey, take it out. Oh, hold on, pump your brakes, bro. <laughs> Me and BT are Yankee fans. That's right, dude. <laughs> we feel for you. Yeah. <laughs> we I feel mean, for you. We don't feel for you that much. Exactly. I don't really want to shave my head again, so just keep the song away for a while. Yeah, G- right. Give we'll it some see. time. We'll see. We'll see how uh, we'll see how frisky you are today. If you're incredibly frisky, we play the song to drown you out. If you uh, if you blend in nicely, then you play you know, play good in the sand pit. We won't play I'm it I'm going to turn my mic off and just <laughs> join threads for a little bit. Put while. my mic on! <laughs> Eight seven seven three three seven sixty six sixty six. All right, that is the long and short of it. The Mets are rocking. Obviously, we just glossed over that, and they are playing well. They look like a totally different team, man. Everybody's hitting. They look fast. They look engaged. And then there's the Yankees slumbering through another pathetic performance from Sevy and uh, a bevy of miscues in the outfield. Listen, I, I I do agree. They are afloat and they are showing gumption, and you got to respect that with all these issues, but. If they want to have a chance to do anything, they have to make a trade. And it's got to be an impactful one. They must. They must.